morning everybody happy new year it is uh, Tet first day of Tet Vietnamese New Year and it is a beautiful day perfect weather not too hot not too cold and as you can see there's lots of decorations out lots of people put out their uh, Vietnamese flags for Tet I think it's the law so anyway, I wanted to do a little ride and talk about um, this 30-day uh, visa, 30-day visa stamp that people have been concerned about. And I wanted to give a uh, little bit of perspective about what has happened in the past to, t to talk about where we've been and what has happened, kind of get an idea of where we might be going from that. I think a lot of people don't don't realize some of the things that have happened in the past, so hopefully this will give them a little more perspective. The reason for doing this, in case people don't know, is there's a new law that was passed in 2019, real quickly, that I'll, I'll, ex, I'll explain to you real quickly, about um, the permitted to remain stamp in Vietnam. So for any tourist visa in Vietnam, if it's longer than 30 days, you will get a permitted to remain stamp in your passport that allows you to stay for 30 days. It doesn't mean your visa will expire after 30 days. It's just that you'll need to leave the country and get a new stamp after 30 days. Now, there's some language in there about getting a renewal or an extension in country, uh, but we'll get into that later. The thing about these 30-day uh, stamps or the permitted to remain stamps, back when I got here in 2014, um, everybody was on 90-day tourist visas. Uh, everybody that I knew, at least, there were there might have been people that had TRCs and and uh, other things, but for the most part, your average person was on a uh, on a tourist visa a DL. Now I went and looked in my old passport and there's actually a permitted to remain stamp in there but as far as I can remember we never were concerned about that stamp we always just knew that uh, our visa would last 90 days and then uh, we'd had to have to get a new visa so we'd either do a, a fly out of the country or do a border run and go through uh, immigration and get a new visa. Uh, and we never, I don't remember ever being concerned about the permitted to remain stamp. I could, I could just be forgetting about that, but it was always just, you had a 90 day visa and every 90 days you get a new visa. Um, so that was back in 2014. It was all right, you know, the only, the only issue with that is you get a new visa and it would take up a page in your passport and if you went to some other country maybe you got a visa there so that would take up a page in your passport so your passport would fill up pretty quickly but other than that it worked out fine fast forward to uh 2016 <laughs> nice people uh fast forward to 2016 there started to be rumblings of a new visa type coming around for americans and it was a uh a one year tourist visa and uh, business visas as well so there was a um, there was a memorandum or a agreement that was put out between the US and Vietnam it's called a reciprocity agreement and what it did is outlined some visa types that would be available to both Americans and Vietnamese and it sort of outlined uh, what they were for and the parameters of, of how they'd be used and things like that and at this point I want to pull over and read a little bit of that to you and it starts out you know the, the Embassy of the United States of America presents its compliments to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs blah 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 the embassy has received the latter's diplomatic note. And now, remember, this is, this is a note that comes from uh, Vietnam to uh, the United States. And it says, The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam 
Yada, yada, yada. In order to further the development of, of bilateral relationship between our countries on the, on the basis of mutual understanding and benefits, and in order to enhance the relations in the fields of economic, culture, science, technology, and to encourage travels of citizens of both countries. Okay? So they're right there, they're setting the goals of uh, this agreement. If you notice what's missing there, what's missing is uh, retirement or long-term stay. So then the next paragraph goes on further and it says they'll, they'll issue visas up to one year with multiple entries to U.S. citizens for tourism, workshops, conferences, personal business, or to work with agencies, organizations, businesses in Vietnam. So right there, it's telling, it's telling you the purpose of, these, of, these new, of the new visas. So now, if you go down and look a couple of paragraphs down, it talks about what is the duration of stay. And that is the, uh, the permitted to remain stamp. And there's one sentence that says, the duration of stay of each entry shall depend on the purpose of travel in accordance with applicable laws and regulations. Now, that's a key phrase, applicable laws and regulations. And then it says, uh, US, U.S. and Vietnamese citizens, the citizen visa applicants should be required to submit, blah, blah, blah. And it says further, each country may limit the visa validity and entry times for individual applicants in accordance with applicable laws and regulations. So again, the applicable laws and regulations phrase. So. That right there says that they're not committing to any sort of time in country in the agreement. They're leaving it open-ended, and it's actually pretty smart. They, they probably realize that given, granting a one-year visa, but without any controls on how long people can stay within that one year might cause problems. But they left it flexible because if you look on the DL uh, visa, it does not specify length of stay on the visa itself. It says it's, it's up to the discretion of immigration. What happened after 2016 is they started issuing these one-year visas and giving 90-day stamps, 90-day permitted to remain stamps on DL visas. The permitted to remain was essentially the same as the previous visas, but the side benefit was you didn't need to get a new visa every time you left the country. So it was a nice change, but it wasn't it wasn't a huge it wasn't a huge difference for people that wanted to stay here. We still had to do border runs or or visa runs every 90 days. But we didn't need to get a new visa every time. So that was nice. But then people kind of caught on that the business visas, which were also introduced at this time, didn't require this 90 days border runs. So they started taking advantage of that. Even though they had no intention of doing business in the country, um, people were, started getting business visas because the agents were telling people, oh, it's fine, all you need to do is investigate or intend to be doing business, wink, wink, and uh, it's no problem. It turns out Vietnam caught on to this, and around 2017, 2018, they started cracking down on people using um, sham business visas or using business visas incorrectly, but um, they started blacklisting people and uh, finding them. So it's, it's important to remember, you can do this for a short period of time. You can get a one-year business visa and odds are you're not gonna get caught during that year. But the issue becomes what happens when you wanna do a renewal and get a new visa? Uh, will you be approved for one? You'll get caught eventually doing this. You can't do it forever. That brings us to today and the new law that, that they're putting into place, apparently. Now, previously they weren't specifying the length of stay. It was up to the immigration officer. 
in certain instances, you could get a one-year permit to stay on a, on a tourist visa. I got one of those back then. But at the time, I consulted with my visa agent, and she advised me not to overstay that because it might be a mistake and I might get in trouble. So I didn't, I didn't overstay it. But it started happening with a lot of people that they were getting these um, one-year permit to stay on a, on a DL tourist visa. People were staying until the end of the permitted to remain stamp without any issues. On my final re-entry back into Da Nang, I got a DL tourist visa in September with a one-year permitted to remain stamp. I didn't exit the country for four months. So I essentially tested it and I had no issues with it. It appears that the permitted to remain stamp is valid for how it's written, um, but don't take my word for it. Do what, do what you think is right if you get one of those. It might be a moot point soon. And so finally, it brings us to today with the proposal for the 30-day stamps. Now, the, the important thing to, to realize about the 30-day stamps, it does not violate the reciprocity agreement because the reciprocity agreement does not specify length of stay. It says it's up to the country to determine the appropriate length of stay. And it specifically says in accordance with the laws of the country. They put that in there because they were concerned with people misusing visas either to stay in the country longer than the intended purpose of the visa or to be working and doing things in the country that they shouldn't be doing on an incorrect visa, say a tourist visa. The head of immigration security had a press conference and expressed this and expressed the reason why they're doing it. So he says why they're doing it, and he says that they are in fact doing it. And as I said in a previous video, in my uh, interaction with the uh, immigration officer during my last re-entry, I asked him specifically if the new 30-day stamps are coming in July. He said yes. I also asked him if it was all nationalities. He said yes. He wasn't unsure about himself at all. It looks like they're coming. It looks like they're coming for everybody. The question is, how will it be implemented? Will there be an extension process that won't be too onerous in the country? Previously, the situation didn't exist. The, the laws didn't say um, what they say now. They said it was up to immigration at the point of entry. So I hope that clears up a little bit about the situation here, about where where this all started and where it's where it seems to be going. I think a lot of people are upset thinking that they want people out because they don't like certain types of people or they, they don't they don't see uh, a benefit to having them here. What they're really doing is trying to focus on criminals, trying to focus on illegal activity. And um, Unfortunately, some people will get caught in that, in a sort of unintended consequence. So that's about it. If you want to talk more about this, join the forum. And you can leave some comments below. And I will talk to you guys on the next one.